what is best in life. Today we uh, join Emir Alandin Elg the Third, the ill ruler. That seems rather harsh. He's already got the title ill ruler. Uh, he is a secret Zoroastrian. He has openly professed the faith of Sunni Muslim hood, and he has formed the Society of the Loyal Magi, where I will try to secretly convert as many provinces in uh, ancient Persia back into their original Zoroastrian faith as possible before openly proclaiming when we're powerful enough to be Zoroastrians. And I will declare myself the Seoshant, one of the three saviors of the Zoroastrian faith. Right now, I am trapped between two hosts, neither of which I have any uh, interest in actually uh, fighting. Uh, this is a host of the Abbasid Revolt, Musa's host. I'm not sure uh, where it's going or what it's doing. It'll arrive in Qom. Where is Qom? All right, great. It's heading south, it appears. And this host is uh, just sitting there uh, ravaging the uh, uh, Sheikhdom of Dalam, which is one of my Sheikhdoms. So I'll just get the clock going and I will restart, get these armies united and then go try to defend the lamb, and then I will get rid of my levies, and then I will... Ah, great, my wife is pregnant. I need members of my own house. The lamb has just been uh, defeated. Oh, and the Abbasid Revolt has ended. So I'm not sure why this host is a raiding host, I suppose. It's a huge one with 4,000 troops. I hope it stays out of my uh, territories. I have a child that lacks focus. My kinsman, he's a Persian Zoroastrian, that's fantastic. Rowdy, we'll give him a martial training in case we uh, need to replace our uh, mercenary captain. And I will try to give him the Zoroastrian with the highest martial training which is not great, but it's Wally Darb. Uh, the craftsmen that I funded a couple of years ago have returned to tell you of their business. With your support, they were able to set up their business. It's now one of the most profitable enterprises in Dalem, which is fantastic. I gained 100 gold for the 50 I spent, and I have defeated the forces of Dalem. Ever since my pursuit of wealth began and you started keeping a close eye on both income and expenses, your coffers seem to be filled to the brim more often than not. A thriving economy is good for the realm, so I get stewardship plus two. Now I will drop my, uh, span my levies. And I am losing, I'm still losing eight gold pieces a month, but I have hired two um, mercenary companies where I might only need one. Now I will see if the Emir of Dehistan, I will declare war. Conquest of Dehistan, I should be able to get all of these at once. Let me just double check. Yes, he can only raise 2,000 troops. Does he have a pact? No, just self-defense packs. So I will declare war. I will uh, march my army. Oh, I only have 2,900. How many does he have? Uh, actually, I will raise... Um, I will raise just my Demesne troops to join the army before invading Dehistan, or actually we'll stop here and unite the armies. And again, this Musa's host is still, I guess it's just a raiding host, which is unfortunate. unfortunate. And let's get this party started, and I, is this just the army of Dehistan somehow appeared on the far side of the uh, Caspian Sea. I'm not sure how that happened. There's a faint knock on my door, followed by a small figure peeking into the room. You remember him well. It's one of the craftsmen that you funded a couple of years ago. He shamefully tells you that the enterprise didn't go exactly as planned and that the workshop is no bankrupt with nothing to show for it. So I spent 100 gold, I lost 100 gold, but I gained a couple of in stewardship. So I guess uh, all in all it was worth it. Oh wow, and these two armies are closing in on me. Hopefully I'll be able to unite them before they can do any damage. And they keep wanting to move this guy to the flank. 
Abdul. And now I will try to chase him out of Gurgan before he's able to loot my trading post. Idris insists that I help him get an old hat to fit, a very futile task as he's too big for it now, as I've already told him what to do. No child tells me what to do, uh, given to his demands. Probably bad parenting, but good medieval leader building, making him a bit impetuous and demanding. Uh, great, I had a nice solid victory over his army. Now I will not walk into Dehistan. I've got a daughter, which is, uh, she's a Mizra. Unfortunately, I can't make matrilineal marriages as a uh, openly professed Sunni. During my stay at court, during my stay at the court of a noble in Baira, I have done my utmost to present my liege in the most favorable light and have him recognized as the benevolent and peaceful ruler he is. It seems as if I succeeded. I forgot I'm actually Chancellor of the Realm. So I will just try to make a alliance marriage with my daughters instead of uh, making matrilineal marriages to build up their... Um, now, can I get an alliance? Same interest, base reluctance, opinion of L. Why does he have a low opinion of me? Uh, because of an, I'm an infidel and he is a Buddhist. I give him a gift, 15. All right, he'll form an alliance. There we go. I have an alliance now. He can't raise any troops. That's no good. Great, I have an alliance with a faraway tr hill tribesman who has no troops. Our effort to establish a community of Zoroastrians in Megara is not working out. The preachers I have given charge of the congregation to are struggling to attract new believers, and without growth, even if some of our early converts are starting to harbor doubts, I will provide all the support they require. That's 75 gold, sure. And I'm getting 44% decadence. I'll have to read up on why my decadence rating is going so high. Is it because I'm going to war with other... Um, uh, with my fellow religion mates? Or actually, I'll siege these down. There we go. Kill Wali Mubarak of Pala. Do I know the Wali? And this is by Caliph, my father-in-law. I'll accept as the Caliph is the one that's offering. And Musa's host has been cut in half and is shattered retreating. Now Dihistan. All right, so I have an 80% war score. Where is his, where does he reign? Leading troops in Kuwabir. Where is his capital city though? I guess, I guess Dehistan is his capital. There's his little symbol there that I believe denotes his capital. So I am sieging the right holding. And if I win the entire emirate over to myself, then that will be enough to form the Sultanate of Moose Jaws. And there, I have a 100% war score, offer peace, and force demands. I usurped the title Mosque of Kuzan Kuli from Emir Yaha, and usurped the title Sheikdom of Dehistan from the Emir, and Emir Alandan of Tabaristan won. And in Gurgan, the peasants are being troublesome. So, did I just win one Sheikdom out of this? Let me slow down the clock. I think I just did. I only won the one sheikdom. Uh, I was hoping to win all three. I control eight. I need to control one more. So Dehistan. Yeah, it's... Uh, he, what, who is his liege? Uh, it's still the Emir, and I can't declare war on the Emir again, probably, because I have raised levies, but I don't have a valid Casas Belli, or raised levies, and I still have 77 piety, so I will uh, disband my levies, 
for a start, and there's an army of 10,000, but that's from the uh, Empire. Now, this guy is so far away from Spain, I'm tempted to try to... S and this is the Caliph. This is the Caliph. This is Magra. This is myself. Who owns this? Dalem is me. Alamut is me. Uh, Tabaristan is my kinsman. He's... Uh, so it looks like the only realistic place. I can't defeat the Caliph, nor can I really go to war with this Emir because he is part of the Empire of Hispania. Although I kind of wonder if I could defeat him before anybody from Hispania could respond. The Abbasids are here and they just have this little outpost here. Who is this heir? Would, it would be nice to know if I could... Um, if I killed enough people, would the uh, ownership of Umayyad pass to... Would it even pass to me? Probably not. So it looks like I'll have to gain one of these two provinces, but um, Sheik, I can't declare war on him. Induct into the Zoroastrian faith. Declare war. I must not be a war. Must have while it cast Casas Belly. Realm peace. So I don't have a de jure claim because I guess I don't have the Sultan Sultanate of Moose Jaws yet. And I can't use the conquest. What about this one here? And I can't use the conquest Casas Belly for some reason. Um, might as well get the clock going. I'll slow it down though. As I try to figure out where or oh where I can get an extra territory. Um, hmm. Well, Kavir Alamut and Tabaristan. Kavir. I might as well get rid of Kavir, Kavir and Alamut to reduce my uh, Demesne overage. Um, so let's see my male dynasty members. Uh, any religion. Now, if I do my religion, is that going to give me the Sunnis or the Zoroastrians? I'll give them any religion. Or even better yet, has secret religion. Uh, my culture. And my dynasty. So here we go. He is... This character practices the Zoroastrian religion in secret. He's 27. His stats are pretty good. Alandon, my nephew. Why does he hate me so? He's my rival. Well, that's unfortunate. And my other nephew uh, is just envious. He still doesn't like me much. He has a pretty high intrigue skill. He's decadent. Oh, he's got the decadent trait. Personal combat skill. Well, I'll grant him landed title. I've got some mosques. I'll give out the... Uh, is it Quivir? It's Kazwin that has the trading post. I will give him the Sheikdom of Kavir. Can't give the capital away. That's the capital. Okay. Uh, well, I'll try moving the capital back to Gurgan. Make capital. There we go. Now, I will go back to my character finder. My nephew, grant him Kazwin, include the lower titles. I have a new heir. I will now play as Sheikah Land in Alandon, my nephew. There we go. And I don't have any uh, I don't have any sons. Just daughters which are being married off. So that's reduce it by one. Um, should I actually give my rival uh, some I should I might give him Alamut. While my wife is pregnant, I'll see if uh, I'll see if it's a son first, and I'll just hang on. And that's reduced my decadence as well. I guess my decadence was growing because my demesne size was too large. And how is my wealth doing? I'm still dropping six, so I will fire one group of mercenaries. I don't need both. I can dismiss. These are the original, the Bedouin Company. And the Alan Raiders. Uh, if 
these cost me 10. These cost me 15. I'll dismiss the Alan Raiders. And does that get me into a positive balance? It should. It's got me at negative 13, but maybe next month the uh, difference in price will be related. I can openly adopt faith. Now, what is the religiosity of my provinces? Uh, they're Sunni. They're Sunni. They're Orthodox Christian. I really wish I could snag this province back. I'm so tempted to try it. Um, because really, how big an army could the Spain get from all the way over here? However, this is an Iron Man game, so if I made a mistake, that would be the end of the uh, effort. And then there's a Zabolistan. I will move my Chancellor. He's an Ushtart. Not my Chancellor hasn't been going great guns. But I'll move him down here to try to capture again. This is a Zoroastrian holy site. And what is this guy doing? He's in Gurgan to collect taxes. That's good. And he is in Gurgan to train troops. That also is good. He is down in Zabulistan trying to uh, develop a claim. And he's researching cultural tech. Now, is he actually accomplishing anything? It doesn't say so on the tooltip. I don't think he's really accomplishing anything, so... What even, even is his religion? Oh, he's Sunni. So I don't really want him out trying to convert provinces, but can I evoke sympathy for Zoroastrianism in him? And uh, how much power do I have? I have 1,200 power. And... After some careful planning, I am seated next to Wally Esmael at a former dinner. I have planned to tell him about a family of Zoroastrians that was attacked and driven from their home in Gurgan in an attempt to rouse his sympathies. But what angle should I employ? He's lustful, he's cynical, he's craven, he's a detached priest, and he's 29. They were forced to leave many loved ones behind, he's cynical. Their scars, both physical and emotional, will never fade. They had a profitable business, it was burned to the ground. And his learning is high, and his diplomacy is high. I will go to great lengths to prevent this from happening again. Diplomacy and learning are his two highest um, uh, attributes. I guess, will diplomacy, the emotional and physical scars will never fade? Yes, I will see if he can relate to that. Wally Isma was visibly moved by the story about the poor family. After our conversation, he became very quiet and only responded in short, half-hearted sentences when spoken to. Just before our departure, Ismael pulled me aside and thanked me for opening his eyes. I knew we could find an ally at Ismael. Sympathy for Zoroastrianism. So, that gains sympathy. Okay, so that's the first time I successfully used that ability. Now, if I could use it on a province, Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian, they're Mazdan, Zoroastrian, Mazdan, Zoroastrian, Mazdan, 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 and let me, where is my other holding? They're Manicheans up here. don't have a valid Casas Belly. I can't use Conquest, unfortunately. Um, hmm. So is there anywhere that I can to breeze? Can I get back Kurdistan, which I used to hold? The Emir of Kurdistan can only raise 900 troops. I can declare war. Conquest of Kurdistan. Uh, I'll lose two piety, but all right. I'll uh, bring my troops over here.
since the caliph stripped the uh, earlier sultan land in the second of all his titles i really haven't i've been uh concentrating during these games on uh just establishing my sultanate back i really haven't been doing much interim research on zoroastrianism and its different heresies especially because the manichean heresy was flipping back and forth uh, repeatedly as to which uh, and taking with it all of the Sultan's family so it wasn't clear which of the many branches or several branches of Zoroastrianism uh, we were going to be following in the game all of them are very interesting all of them had a profound influence actually on Western and European culture uh, one uh, rather I guess over enthusiastic historian actually said that one could describe the medieval culture of Western Europe as the uh, Western culture of Persia because of the uh, strong influence that Persia had and the Seljid Empire, uh, Seleucid Empire had on, uh, let's see here, the community in, of Zoroastrians in Magra has grown far larger than it once was. Believers in great numbers share joy and hardships while ensuring their faith stays hidden from the wider world. The congregation has become a small cosmos of faithful, and the new converts find the truth of Ahura Mazda by the day. You all rest in the embrace of Ahura Mazda. Magara gets secret Zoroastrian community. Oh, that's fantastic. I thought it was a doomed effort. But now we will declare war and conquer Kurdistan and uh, try to win back the uh, Zoroastrian uh, holy site. I have a new heir. If the character dies, I will now play as my son, Javid Alanze. And Javid will be Elandon Elg. Uh, there we go. Elandon Elg. Oh, and he's strong. Good for him. And I will try to teach him the ways. Oh no, he's a Sunni. But can I convert him? Uh, induct child into Zoroastrianism. Age has to be greater than eight. Okay, I have to wait till he's eight. So I will assign a guardian. Uh, do we have, what's the highest Zoroastrian? I will give her Bihar. And is Bihar a Persian? It doesn't say on these darn tips. She's a Sunni, unfortunately. Uh, let me get... Bahar. Yeah, it does say. It. There it is. She's a Persian. All right. I will get her to teach a Landon. And a defensive pact disbanded. And are there any... Oh, there's a genius. Marry the genius. There we go. And I got a victory that gave me... Oh, wow. The... Uh, who's at war? Oh, Hispania. The Emperor of Hispania and the uh, Holy Roman Empire are at war. And the Kagan agrees to the marriage of his genius daughter and my probably rather thick son. And now the Emir of Kurdistan has a 33% war score. Sheikh Alandin Alandin of Kazwin has provided me with undeniable proof that Mayor Nazim of Dervar is a witch and a demon worshipper. How should I use this information? Who is this vassal? He's a Manichean demon worshipper. He doesn't like me too well. Uh... I will denounce him, giving me a chance to arrest him, and I will uh, imprison. There we go, he's locked in the dungeon, so that's taken care of him. And now we will just continue to siege down this province. And... What I really should do is uh, get my Chancellor back up and fabricating a claim to uh, one of the last Sultanate. I can only, these are the only two options that I have realistically to uh, conquer in the Sultanate. And for some reason, I can't use my Conquest Casas Belly on the Emir. And a son was born, a 
kinsman. He unfortunately is a Sunni Muslim, so we will give him a heritage focus and assign a guardian who is uh, a good Zoroastrian. Wow, there's not a lot of them left, but there we go. And can we marry him? Your kinswoman has through the teachings of Urban now been setting the principles of the Zoroastrian faith. Great, she's become a Zoroastrian. Excuse me. I apologize if you could actually hear that cough. I hope that you couldn't. I think I turned this microphone off. However, the mic doesn't have an on off button. It just has a slider, which isn't demonstrated. But now let's try to uh, find a spouse. And here's a quick spouse for young Zelg. Request council support. Please support me. I'll support you. And uh, how is my wealth doing? I'm gaining a little bit. I'm gaining half a gold piece per month uh, now. So I've got a victory that get, gets me 100% war score. All right, so I've usurped the title of Sheikdom of Kurdistan. And now do I hold the Sheikdom directly? Yes, I do. Now the Mosque of Burbai. The Mosque Holder, I am going to my vassal. If I revoke his title, this will lower Wally's opinion of you by 60 and all my other vassals by 15. So do I have a revoke title law? No, I don't. And I need legalism equal to two. And in this backward realm of mine, legalism is equal to two. So why cannot, but I need legalism. Oh, I need legalism equal to three to implement primogeniture. Legalism level is greater to or equal than one. That might be just in, this is Tabaristan, Ducal Laws of Tabaristan. Oh, Sheikh Alandan of Kazwin has provided me with proof that Mary, Mayor Hassam of Sanda has been viciously slandering me, my vassal. Uh, I'll uh, arrest him. That's him taken care of. Um, okay, so we'll just slow things down for a moment. I believe that one of my vessel vassals can be discouraged from associating with the conspiratorial factions very well. Now, can I appoint this... Oh, let me see the legalism. Uh, great, the Val, uh, my Sheik of Megara has uh, declined to, this has been discouraged from factionalism. And this has a legalism. It's hard to tell the legalism. Uh, my wife is pregnant, hopefully with a son. Tabaristan legalism. So I guess the lighter the legalism. I guess I'm not operating under the uh, laws of, Kur of Tabaristan anyway in Kurdistan. So my withdrawing the vassal workers would be difficult. Now a sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you're forced to dash for the privy. Oh boy, I get diarrhea. Is this Sultan going to perish? I have a reasonably good doctor, thankfully, and that is where we will pause it. Alandin Jaws proposes that we send more troops, making him a bigger, better mercenary band. He insists that with the experience he has gained, trusting him with a greater force is a natural way of showing mutual respect and trust. Well, I have conquered Kurdistan. I am not sure how to uh, fire the uh, Iman of the Mosque. 
without incurring the wrath of all my other vassals, seeing as I am not a sultan and cannot institute the religious revocation law as of yet. My chancellor is seeking to make a claim on Karakum and Yus Astart, uh, the two territories le left which I can conquer and form the Sultanate of Moose Jaws with, and we'll leave it that leave it at that for uh, next episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'll try to be including more information on Zoroastrianism and uh, Manichaeism and uh, the Zoroastrian heresies as uh, I have more time between episodes. It's been uh, busy over the holidays and I haven't had much time to research Zoroastrianism, although it's fascinating. And uh, if you've been entertained by this and it's your first time here, I hope you hit the subscribe button that's on the screen and consider following me on Facebook. Have a good day.